Welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to remaster your VHS Hi8, Digital 8, and 8 tapes. They're all the same thing. To a DVD or a uh, video file you can use on your computer later for other things. And now, we'll need some hardware to do this. First, I suggest Dazzle DVD Recorder, which is around, uh, here's a device, it's USB. Uh, you can get it for around $20 to $40 at Best Buy or Amazon, which I'll be putting links to them in the description. And then we'll need uh, a VHS player, of course. Some AV cables, maybe one if you're using. Just, uh, just one of these. And our Hi8 player. Now this is a, a little bit of a explanation here. To get one of these new, if you don't already have one, would be about $300 to $400. You can maybe pick up one at a pawn shop for maybe $50 or $40, maybe, depending on if it's good. But uh, usually, if it's not been taken care of and it gets rusty inside or dust inside, it's it's not going to work properly. So if you have one, make sure you've taken care of it, which uh probably too late by now. This supports S-Video, which... The Dazzle uh, hardware we have here supports S-Video, which that does not do audio as well, like HDMI does, which that's far out of this league. You'll need a splitter from the headphone jack to 2AVI. This is a TRS cable, four pole I believe, and it goes to yellow and mono. You put just one of these in here, you'll only get one side of your speakers playing. So we'll need to trick it with some other cables that I'll put in the description so you can have stereo on your recording. Alright, now you also need to get an external hard drive if you're going to be storing a lot of these. I, uh, highly, re I highly recommend Seagate over Western Digital for a lot of reasons that I can't ex explain here, which I've done in another video. Now to our computer part. Okay, now we're on our computer. And I'll first show the easy way, and then afterwards the hard way with, with a different program. First, I'll show the easy and straightforward way for beginners with the software that came with our hardware, the Dazzle DVD Recorder. In this software is called Instant DVD Recorder. It's, it comes with the hardware. Number one, select your source, which would be your hardware. It is called Dazzle DVC, DVC 100. Yours might be called DVC 110 or DVC 120 or 140, depending on the version you bought. The black version comes with almost the exact same version, but a, a better editing program, I believe. Go to Options. Uh, leave these at default. Input would be Composite, which Composite is yellow, wet, red, or yellow, red, and white. S Video is the the weird plug that had all the pins in it, and then you would have red and then yellow or red and white is for audio. So keep that. Video standard would be NTSC, is for United States, and uh, parts of Japan, I think. And PAL is for most of the rest of the world. If you're United States, keep it NTSC, which is uh, 29.97 frame per second at uh, 640 by 480. Audio input is a Dazzle DVC 100. VHS, I'm, I don't know what that does. Maybe the interlace, I'm not sure. Let's, okay, number two. Select your DVD burner and put a DVD minus R or a DVD plus R in. Uh, usually the ones that are the ones that are 4.7 gigabytes are single layer. If you want to store more data on it, you'll need to get double layer, but those are a little bit more expensive. And that will allow for more minutes saved. Number three is if you want to include menus. If you put a chapter every some minutes, Every time you hit the skip button on your DVD remote, it'll skip to that next part and that next part every three minutes or every four minutes if you select four. I had, I've never tried this uh, program's menu styles. I have a different program, Vegas Movie Studio, that I can use for that. So I can't give an opinion on this. Recording. For best, it will only allow 62 minutes of video on a DVD minus R. That's 4.7 gigabytes. Better will allow for 77 minutes, and good will allow for 103 minutes. Automatic will allow for 103 minutes because it's selecting the uh, good, I guess. And this is grayed out because I don't have a DVD in the drive. 
if I believe if you put a DVD plus R that's a double layer in, it may let you go to a higher minutes that that doesn't allow you to already. So uh, double click here to see what you're recording. So uh, usually you want to hit start recording and then um, play your device. But uh, I'll just show uh, playing here. Small children by the hand. For those of you remaining on board, our next stop is the Transportation and Ticket Center with continuing... That was a, a recording from Disney, uh, Disney World in 2000 on a monorail entering the, the Contemporary Resort. Okay, after you're all done recording, it will automatically start burning that to your DVD. You have to watch it in real time and allow it, if it's two hours long or one minute, one hour long, you'll have to sit here or have it do this for one hour or two hours, how long it is. You can't speed it up because of the nature of analog uh, recording. So uh, that's the easy way. Next, we'll do the hard way. There's a program called Virtual Dub. I believe it is open source. I'm pretty sure about that. And it, it has way, a lot of options for doing things. To go to, we can use our uh, Dazzle DVD recorder hardware and with this program as well, which is pretty good. It'll you also use other hardware as well. First go to File, then Capture AVI. It'll take you here. Probably need to close this so we don't get any errors. That's using the hardware. First, select, select your capture file. I'm going to overwrite this one because uh, I did this earlier. Another take. Select your device, which would be Dazzle, Dazzle DVC, DVC 100. Go to video. I select checking previews. You can watch it while it's, while it's uh, recording. Go to compression. Select the uh, H.264 ABC codec. Go to configure for the aspect ratio. Since all uh, VHS and height 8 are 640 by 480, and they're also in 43, we'll need to select our aspect ratio, aspect ratio to 43. So width would be 4, height would be 3. Do not mess with anything else over here, because uh, you don't need to. You can play with it, but I, I would suggest not playing with it. And okay there. And okay. And audio, I would suggest clicking uh, Enable Audio Playback. That'll let you hear hear what's happening while you're playing and recording. Select your device here. Go to Compression. Select AC3 codec. I believe that's uh, W Digital. And uh, I would suggest 640 kilobits per second at 48,000 hertz. But uh, you can go down to 192. But if you go higher, it's just going to take a little bit more space. But why not? You may be missing something because of the nature of storing digital data on analog tapes. Select your one you want, go to configure, and uh, leave everything as it is. Or you can experiment, but uh, I would suggest not. And we go to capture, go to settings. For NTSC, we're going to type in 29.97 frame per second. That's the, uh, for VHS and I-8 in America, that's what you need. That's the frame per second that you need to select. You can select a stop condition, set a parameter here, and it'll automatically stop recording. So you don't have to have stop capture. I have mine set at 9,000 seconds because, uh, uh, due to the nature of tapes, they say they're 120. But they're usually 124, 125, or somewhere around there. VHS can go all the way up to six hours, depending on what kind of tape you have and what quality it was set recording at. So, uh, need some calculations there. Okay, we have everything correct. So, uh, with this program, I was just capturing and then starting your your hardware because usually when I did, I do the opposite. Do the uh, the tape first. And then start capturing. I don't capture any video or I don't capture any audio. And if you can't hear or see it on here when you have these enabled, it's not recording them. Or there's a problem with your device. Uh, first, let's uh, go ahead and capture video. Wait for uh, data to start populating over here. You see it's going, so hit play. And we'll have our thing playing. We're still the contemporary resort here on the monorail. 
So I'll go ahead and hit stop. When it stops on a high 8, usually it'll be black. On a VHS, it may be blue, I believe. And uh, go to stop capture. It'll freeze for a second, and it'll then your file will be complete. And that's basically it. If you want to do a lot of these, I would suggest buying an external hard drive because uh, you don't want to keep storing these on your main hard drives because it's going to take up a lot of space. Usually about an hour is about um, 700, 800 megabytes if you use the good compression. If you don't use any compression, it'll be about 600 gigabytes per uh, one hour. But uh, that's I did that a lot and then encoded it afterwards. So uh, I suggest good doing compression. So thank you for watching and uh, happy memories and make sure to keep them backed up on at least two different devices. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.